This is the Sacramento Bio Digester. Cutting edge stuff and quite simply, the goal is to take this, put it into that, and then put it into a car. It's what we all seem to do when we're finished with something, we throw it away. And rarely do any of us consider what happens next. And that's something that Sacramento restaurateur Patrick Mulvaney is all too familiar with. There's a lot of post and pre and post consumer waste that, that we didn't have a place to go to until Clean World Partners came along and said, we will take essentially everything that you have. Clean World, a brilliant startup here in Sacramento, has found a way to, well, turn garbage into the automotive equivalent of gold, that being fuel. Over a third of our waste stream are organics. Uh, these are compostable organics that can be used for other beneficial products like renewable energy, electricity, and also, of course, biofuels. The mantra for waste management, I think everybody knows it. Reduce, reuse, recycle. When it's coming here, you're really not doing any one of those three things. When it comes here, it pretty much comes here forever. What's happening at Clean World is that is being reused. It's being reused as a fuel. So after, well, the garbage goes up this conveyor, it goes into this hopper. The next point of the process, well, is over in those tanks. And that's where fermentation begins. And it's the result of all that bacteria interacting with those organics that ultimately leads to, well, fuel. It's actually negative carbon. They compare it well to wheels with what would have otherwise happened with that same source. And it's significantly lower, much lower than the traditional way the food waste would be handled. And it's not just our personal leftovers that can be used. Even factories like Hood Dairy are benefiting. We were sending product just to drain. So we have retained samples and samples done on the product prior to it being sold. And that was just being put down the drain. Now we're able to turn it into energy. And if you're wondering who figured out how to make this all work, well, credit one UC Davis professor. It's already in the commercial production application, and we can use such technology for solving real waste disposal problems. And even big companies that have large fleets are loving the fact that their trucks can, well, run on garbage. So we get to close the loop, and the organics that are um, collected or actually give off the most greenhouse gas emissions. So for us, it was a real natural opportunity to be able to pick the material up, repurpose it, and then put it back in the trucks to fuel much more cleanly. And for mainstream business, well, the opportunities that Clean World Technology offers, well, they appear to be limitless. Uh, the world's changing, and uh, this is a technology that we felt could actually help change the world right here, you know, in Sacramento. It really is about food from start to finish and be able to take something that not, not only feeds the community, but then creates end products after the community is done with it. And that to me is, is the real value of this. And the thing that is important to remember, this isn't just some crazy experiment. This is really working and really helping all of us who live in or around Sacramento. Steve Terigny and Michelle Wong are with Clean World and uh, Michelle, we'll start with you. This is amazing that we can stand in front of this pile of garbage and see it going to something that's super positive. This is great. Um, we're so excited to be taking waste that would normally going, be going to landfills and putting it in a digester and creating the fuel that's actually fueling the trucks that are bringing it here in the first place. Yeah, that's what I was so jazzed about is that it makes such sense. And speaking of landfills, a good portion of what goes to the landfill is this stuff behind us. Absolutely, about 30% of the waste that goes into a landfill is organic waste. That's crazy, and now it's becoming fuel. Steve Trigny, you work here every day. I was out here a few weeks ago, and I just got to address it, because I know a lot of people are saying, oh gosh, doesn't it smell? It really doesn't smell, it's no, just it, organic. It really doesn't, and the small amount of smell you do have is is uh, put into the system, and since it's a closed system, there's no odor at all. Hey, listen, Steve, I took a road trip with my four kids recently. This is nothing compared to the SUV. Uh, listen, if you want to know more about the efforts of Clean World, here's the web address that you can go to. You can also visit our Facebook page for a behind the scenes look at the amazing efforts of Clean World here in Sacramento. And that, of course, is facebook.com slash the car zone.